Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video and in this video we are just continuing. This video is a part 2 of our famous Q&A series. In case you don't know, every single month we do a Q&A session where we take fun questions, sometimes related to programming but most of the time no. And this is a fun series, we, I love this series. So again, if you are just watching this video for the first time, go ahead check out the part 1 of this, although it's not related. but it's just fun just watch that now let's just come back and start this sections q a again these questions are super fun that i couldn't resist myself in answering them so let's get started question uno my communication is not good will i be able to enter into it company uh, yes, you will be. There is like no big deal if you are lagging up in the communication. It's not a big deal, but you should really work hard on your communication skills because as soon as you will be entering into the IT companies, you'll you'll just see that there are plethora of opportunities waiting for you. That opportunities include going abroad, maybe dealing up with the clients directly, reaching to the top positions in the company. All of this really requires communication skills because over the time you'll realize that after five years or 10 years in industry, it's not about writing the code at all. It's most over about managing the clients, getting the projects, getting big deals and all such things. So yes, if you want to eventually grow in the IT company, get better in your communication skills as well. Question those. Sir, starting career as a backend developer is good option. Yes, of course, it's good option, amazing option. Whether you want to start as a front end or back end, both are amazing, great. For the back end, you have variety, and in fact, tons of features. You can start with Django, Node.js, PHP, .NET, plethora of options are there. But what I believe is certainly that uh, there is abundance and there is a huge demand of back end development. But again, make sure you pick up a couple of databases, not just one. You should be aware about MySQL is one of them. You cannot skip that if you want to become a back end developer. Go ahead, first of all, get started with MySQL, no exception. And then also take some of the modern databases as well, maybe MariaDB or Postgres. So try to get a little bit hands dirty there as well. Aha, this is an interesting question. Question number, you get that. Do you think blockchain technology will scale enough to compete with traditional tech? Obviously, I am an optimistic person. I believe that yes, this is going to happen in the future. Now, blockchain technology, most of the people just know about blockchain as just Bitcoin, but blockchain is way beyond that. And I have seen a couple of applications and implementation. For sure, they are tough. And when I say tough, yes, actually, they are tough to be implemented as of now. But probably this is because we are so familiar with the traditional tech that we don't go through with these blockchain technology. Now, I have seen Ethereum and Ethereum based uh, some of the applications being designed. I have talked to those programmers. They were amazingly insane skills that I've ever seen in the programming. But yes, these technologies are really awesome. I don't know about the performance and scalabilities of these apps because those apps were like just toy apps. They were not being used by hundreds and thousands of people. But still, I liked it and I'm fully optimistic about the future tech that yes, blockchain is going to be rocking. It's not just about the bitcoins, but yes, there are a plethora of implement implementation, especially in the web as well, that you can use these kinds of tech. I think this question is going to give you a lot of answers about how much you should be loving a programming language or not. Why is Google contradicting its own platform like Android by focusing more on progressive web apps and the advent of React Native? Do you think traditional Android programming with Java will be obsolete? No, I don't think so that uh, the traditional programming with Java is going anywhere because Java is still so many places in the industry that it's not going anywhere. Obviously, it's going to take time. But obviously, people are more leaning towards the Kotlin and React Native and Xamarin and all these things. And especially the progressive web apps are good things to implement. Now, here comes the interesting part of the question which says, why is Google contradicting its own platform? Now, when you want to do programming or want to build app, it's never ever about loving a programming language. You might want to learn in Java, you absolutely love that, that's okay, that's it. You should not never ever love a programming language up to certain extent that you want to do everything in that language. No, it's a bad idea. Google being a technology company which knows like really, he knows everything. Google, people at Google are really amazing. So they know that if a technology is there, it was not meant to be loved. It was there 
just to finish up a task and that's it it's done it's gone if there are better option in other programming languages or other frameworks or maybe other tech then obviously everybody should go there so my whole uh, summary of this question is never ever love any one programming language just look out what can be done best in that programming language Example could be if you want to make Android app, there are plethora of options, React Native, Xamarin, uh, maybe with Ionix as well, maybe progressive web apps, maybe you want to make an hybrid app. The goal here is what you really want to create and what programming language or what platform is going to be serving you best. If you love Java and your programming language Java is not able to serve there, just ditch that. It's not your girlfriend that you cannot ditch that. Go ahead, leave that. I would not call this a question a statement because this is amazing. This says, problem in remembering the codes. Have to look into the documentation quite frequently. Any solution, please? This question is asked by Namish. I would say, Namish, you are doing an absolutely fantastic job. If you are referencing documentation again and again, this is a pure sign that you are becoming a professional developer. So first of all, congratulations on that. Now again, if you're looking back and forth again in the documentation, this is completely okay. We all do this and in fact in the programming industry, this is called as a good habit. Eventually what will happen is you will start remembering a few lines of that and after that few paragraphs of that and you won't have to look into the documentation as you'll be moving in the projects. But the thing is, you are on to a right track and it's completely okay to look into documentation again and again Congratulations, you are onto a path of becoming a professional programmer. A question by Muhammad Sheikh, and he says, UI of Learn Code online website is really awesome, 5 out of 5. Whenever I visit LCO, it gives me a pleasant to me. Thank you so much. Uh, will you please provide a search box in the website? It looks similar to Painter Panda Story. Uh, kind of a yes, but it's totally okay. Asking for features and requests and even correcting me is totally okay because nobody is perfect and I'm always willing to learn from it. And asking for a search bar, it's totally okay for that. Probably we can implement that very soon. As of now, search bar is already there at uh, courses.learncodeonline as well as on global.learncodeonline as well. But surely a search bar onto the front homepage of the Learn Code Online website can also be an awesome thing. I'll surely look into that. But thank you so much for the feedback. Mr. Sajan says, how do I get internship in companies like Amazon? I have done four projects in web, including one in React and Firebase. And I have, I have asked these questions to many, but uh, never got question satisfying answer. First of all, you are absolutely on the right track. The moment you have started your question saying that, yes, I have done some projects, this would give a big thumbs up because uh, yes, this is a good starting point and you have created few good projects. I would say you are on to a right track. The next step is to work out onto your some skills known as aptitude and reasoning as well. Yes, these uh, these companies get so many of the requests of uh, these interns and all of that. So obviously they have some hurdles and having your aptitude and all these things solid is also a good idea. Now the big mistake that a lot of people does is they do the project and they don't know how to apply or even where to apply. Companies are not going to come to you if you are just sitting at your home and just staring at your emails. Sometimes they do. Uh, I have been approached quite a number of times, but that might not be the case for you. So go ahead on to their official website, maybe amazon.com, .in, and all these websites do have a section where they say careers or hirings or something like that. So go ahead, look out there what, they, what are the available opportunities that they are offering you, uh, what are the ways by which you can apply, and what are the requirements they are asking. Everything is mentioned usually on their website. So in case you haven't just checked that out, go ahead, first step is that. Second thing is uh, LinkedIn. It is an amazing platform for building up links and getting recommendations as well. So try out to search for the uh, employees of the Amazon and try to just chit chat with them. People are really friendly in the programming community. So tr try to have a chit chat and then simply uh, just try to recommend you for any available positions of internship. Another exciting example could be knockery.com now i usually don't recommend such websites but yes amazingly it's very very popular among uh, the industry a lot of people hire from that and also i would recommend angel list website as well because uh, it's really popular and a lot of people just try to use that again i would say that angel is not for getting into amazon angel list is mostly for hiring getting hired at a startup based thing kind of that 
So again, uh, your number one thing is go on to website and look for the career or hiring position there and check out that. Also, since these companies do get a lot, a lot of requests, so don't just be disappointed if your email is not getting replied or something. Your job is to keep applying and keep applying and keep applying. Okay, this question is like very popular on my channel, but I haven't addressed it officially. Well, tell us why most programmer and tech enthusiasts love gray t-shirt. Does it have something to do with the wavelength of that particular color that attracts people, sir? Uh, you have to answer this question. Uh, I would say that the way you have asked this question, it is fantastic. And uh, the way you people are getting creative, I absolutely love this. Funny as well as amazingly creative. But yes, I'm not ditching the question here. Uh, yes, uh, I don't know why this gray is like an awesome color. Probably what I can say right now to you is this is something which is really great. I love this color and in fact my life has been changed quite a lot after just sticking to one color and probably you can expect a video very soon uh, where I'll be discussing why I have chosen this color, the reason behind that and how it has impacted my life, what are the advantages that I got, what are the disadvantages that I got. So probably you can expect a video very soon. At my channel, a lot of people are from school who watches this programming channel. So this question is addressed to all of you. Sir, one humble question for you, please answer. I spent so much time to surf internet to learn tech stuff and do programming. Learn new languages as well as ethical hacking, etc. What I do realize now that I'm very weak at school study. Now board exam is approaching and I haven't studied enough to get good marks. What should I do? Please answer if you read this. Now, if you're asking these questions, I can understand you are in a very serious situation. You are not going to get good marks in your board exam. Now, what I can recommend you is stop watching all these YouTube videos, stop watching all this Facebook stuff and even stop programming for a while. You are just in a school and you have plenty of time to code and to design whatever you want to design. But once you have actually failed in your school exams or you have got bad grades, it's going to stick forever to you. So my advice to all those people who are just young and are in school, there is plenty of time. Don't just let this programming stick too much into your head. You have plenty of time in your future. I don't want you to regret later on that I have got bad grades and that is why I'm not able to get into Amazon or Google or any such big companies. This should not be a hurdle. I know uh, this is like a big thing for any YouTuber to say stop watching my channel. Uh, but I would say this. Yes, please stop watching my channel until and unless your board exams are over. Get good marks. Get good grades. Don't look even at the programming. The first thing priority right now is board exam. Life is all about balance and right now your balance is too much outweighing on programming. So you have to balance it and please study hard. Pranjal wants all of the BJP guys to switch on this channel and try to give me threats. Okay, so uh, Pranjal says, if you ever have a chance to meet Narendra Modi, what will you ask? Now, before even I make a statement, what will I ask? I would like to say that I don't have a strong belief in any of the political leaders. Uh, whether he's Narendra Modi or Rahul Gandhi or Donald Trump, I believe they all are just same. They underline the statement if you'll just see their real faces. I somehow believe they all are same. So it doesn't really matter whom asking the question. And in fact, if I would get a chance to ask a question, I would say a statement instead of asking the question. I would say Mr. Narendra Modi or respected Mr. Narendra Modi because there are a lot of people who can just bash me for this. So respected Mr. Narendra Modi, this is a question that I would like to ask you and you don't have to even answer that. And the question is, are you aware of the situation of engineering colleges that is happening right now in India? That's it. You don't even have to answer this. And the final question is, I'm going to be answering that in a single word. And the question is, what will be good to learn first, front end or back end? Front end. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have enjoyed it even more, do hit the subscribe button as well. If you haven't enjoyed this video, it's okay. It's cool. There are a lot of things in the world that I don't like. And probably this is one of the video that you don't like in the world. Still, I would say, let's be friends. Programming friends. It's okay. And I'll surely catch you up in the next video.